We came in with a group of students uh, and the exercise was to design uh, based on concrete discussions on the situation today, the future of global governance. This kind of forum, first of all, signals the fact that the future is growingly important. It's a growingly important topic and which is good, even though the future has always been there, but it's being identified as such. So it's good to see that it's not just well, uh, us in our little corner that are concerned about that, but that many other people are. And it also helps us connect because we have our different, very different ways of addressing uh, the future. And somehow it's not so easy to make it compatible. So little by little, this kind of meeting enables us to, uh, to converge. At LEAP, we have a method of, of dealing with the future, which is political anticipation, which is very much about the factuality of the future, about anticipating change. So the uh, guessing somehow the future. And I am sometimes confronted with the fact that in the futurist uh, 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 network, in the, this uh, universe of, of futurists, there is this say that the future doesn't exist, it is what we build, and I agree that there is of course this dimension, um, but um, as far as we're concerned, we, we think but what we bring into the discussion at least is this aspect of the factuality of the, of the future. Futures literacy, therefore, is something that we think is important, but I don't think we understand it exactly the same way, because for political anticipation, the idea is that the future must be democratized, which of course has a lot to do with future literacy, but it's somehow be maybe less about inventing the future, which we as at LEAP, coming from a political background, having had a project which was political, which was the democratization of Europe, uh, we somehow, future li literacy sometimes resounds to us like, in fact, a, a political project or a democratic project. And so, uh, so I would let, maybe, my, my contribution to futures literacy to, would be more about rationalizing also, looking also at the factuality of the future, because if we want any kind of future, we have to deal with some hard facts of the future if we want to succeed in our strategies. Bringing, like we brought the past in a rational manner under the title of history in schools, we have to do exactly the same thing with the future in a rational manner in schools. This kind of uh, forum could bring uh, young people uh, and young generation uh, more uh, resolutely maybe, but uh, there's, they're already present. I would like to say that I noticed that there are lots of youth already. So uh, I like this idea of intergenerational, I think, of, or also approach uh, and indeed passing on the relays so that, voila, the dwarves, the dwarves on the, on the shoulders of, of giants, you know the sentence, of course. Uh, so in, future, in the future literacy and uh, future education too, uh, let's have this intergenerational approach.